Today is visitors look at this ornate red brick building with Lake Superior in the background. It's sometimes hard to imagine it blasting sounds that could be heard many miles away with steam shooting from the whistles over 40 feet into the air. Although lighthouses create images of majestic towers protecting mariners from the dangers of cruel and threatening seas, just as important was a different type of protection, that of a loud audio sound. Lighthouses, as impressive as they look, only work on clear nights. In the case of thick fog or low clouds, a different type of warning system was needed. For the Asabo light station, prior to 1897, a hand crank device was used to alert mariners of the dangerous sandstone reef extending underwater from Asabo Point. It was both labor intensive and not very loud. Fog is an ever present risk at this location and can build within minutes, greatly limiting visibility for ships. This all changed when the U.S. Lighthouse Service appropriated $5,500 for the construction of a steam-powered fog signal building in 1897. Large locomotive steam whistles anchored on the roof, as seen in this historic picture, were loud enough to be heard up to 25 miles away on a calm day. The U.S. Lighthouse Service assigned a unique sound pattern or signature to the fog signal requiring a three-second blast every 17 seconds, as you've been hearing in the background of this video. During an average shipping season, generally from mid-April to mid-December, the boilers would consume 15 to 20 tons of coal to operate this system. One problem with steam whistles, however, was the amount of time it took to produce enough steam pressure from a cold start. Often the process of starting a boiler fire and waiting patiently for the steam pressure to rise to a sufficient level could take as long as 45 minutes. This problem was evident on the morning of April 9, 1902, as fog quickly began to build. The keeper had gone out to light the boiler and wait for the steam pressure to build at 6 a.m. At 6.15 a.m., the steamer Crescent City towing a whaleback style barge, was lost in the fog and ran aground on the reef. Unfortunately for the Crescent City, the boiler had not yet produced enough steam pressure to sound the whistles. As fog banks can form quickly, 45 minutes was a very long time indeed. Eventually, the steam whistles were replaced with newer systems that used compressed air, greatly decreasing the response time. The compressed air was provided by a diesel engine driving a special air compressor, and the air was stored in a large tank for instant use. Today, while visiting the building, you can still see this large white tank suspended from the ceiling. The green tank located on the floor was for diesel fuel. The U.S. Coast Guard finally decided to decommission the Asabo Light Station in 1957. As large ships no longer sail close to the coast, the need to warn mariners of the dangerous reef and surrounds declined, bringing an end to the Asabo Light Station's fog signal era. <laughs>